Hello, I was going to show you how to double crochet. And for this, I'm going to use this really lovely lilac colored yarn. It's a lovely color. It should show stitches up nicely. So here's my yarn. I'm going to make a slip knot to start with. So I'm going to make a loop, put a loop inside it, a small one, and pull it through. There we go. So there's my slip knot. And I'm going to put my hook in the loop and pull it tight. Not too tight. It's got to be loose enough to move up and down your crochet hook like that. I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to chain 10. So 10 chain stitches. You can do as many chain stitches as you want depending on the size of your project. So I'm going to do 10. So for my chain stitch, Yarn over the hook and pull it through. That's one chain stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull it through that last stitch. That's two. Yarn over, pull it through. That's three. I'm going to carry on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's my chain of ten. And now I'm going to start the double crochet. But to start it, I'm going to use the last four chains as the beginnings of the first double crochet. So therefore I'm going to count back one, two, three, four, and put my first double crochet stitch into that fourth chain back. So I'm going to put my yarn over, my hook in that fourth chain, Yarn over again, pull it through. So I now have three stitches on my crochet hook. Yarn over again, pull it through two. Yarn over again and pull it through two. And that is my first double crochet. And I'm going to carry on doing the same thing in each stitch. So I can see the, la the stitch that I've just done because it's the stretched one. So I'm now moving on to the next one. So, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over again, pull it through, so there's three stitches on my crochet hook, yarn over again, pull it through two, yarn over again and pull it through two, and that's two double crochet. Okay, so we'll do another one. Yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, there's three stitches on my crochet hook, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, and again, yarn over, put it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, put it into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'm going to carry on until the end. There we go, so three stitches, pull it through two, pull it through two, and then the next one, yarn over into the next stitch, pull it through, there's the three stitches, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And there's my first row of double crochet. So now we need to go back the other way. And to do that, we're going to start by chaining three. So one, two, three. And then we're going to turn it round. Sorry, I flipped it the wrong way. Flip it round like that. And then we're going to carry on doing double crochet in each top stitch. So we're going to start 
yarn over into the top stitch yarn over pull it through so there's my three stitches yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and again yarn over into the top stitch the next one yarn over pull it through there's the three stitches on my hook yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and I'm going to carry on in each top stitch so into the under the stitch there it goes can be quite fiddly <laughs> so into the stitch yarn over pull through pull through two pull through two and again pull through two pull through two and again pull through two pull through two yarn over under the stitch pull it through pull through two pull through two and the last one yarn over into the stitch pull it through pull through two pull through two and there we have your double crochet now to finish off well you could obviously uh, chain three and then flip it over and then carry on with another row but I'm going to finish this off now it's just a small little swatch so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it with a tail and I'm going to do one slip stitch which is yarn over and pull it through just pull it tight and there you have your double crochet it's quite a nice neat nice neat stitch and you could just carry on as big and as wide as you like you could end up making a blanket just with that one stitch thank you for watching bye bye